Hi boys and girls, election day is coming up in just over a month and I saw this book at the library, Vote for Our Future by Margaret McNamara and Micah Player. And I thought, I really wanna read this and I bet you would enjoy it too. So I thought we would read about voting. Look at all of those stickers and buttons related to voting because kids can make a difference. We want to vote for our future. And it says, here's our dedication, in honor of my mom and dad who always did their civic duty and to Mrs. Player's class making a better tomorrow every day. So every two years, on the Tuesday after the first Monday in November, Stanton Elementary School closes for the day. For repairs? Nope. For a holiday? Uh -uh. For a vacation? No way. Stanton Elementary closes for, I bet you guessed it from the title, Election Day. And changes from a school to a polling station. What's a polling station? A polling station is where people vote. So instead of being the school for that day, this is where people go to vote. The reason people vote is to choose who makes the laws of the country. We should all vote, says LaToya. We should all vote to make the future better. We can't vote until we turn 18, said Lizzie. So what can we do? The kids of Stanton Elementary did their research. Ooh, I like that word, research. They looked in books and made notes. They went online and found all kinds of information. They even took a trip to their local election office and picked up forms. I can't wait till I can vote for real, said them all. Me either, said everybody else. Kids have to live with adult choices. The kids of Stanton Elementary School were ready to spread the word. They were out there doing some research. He picked up a voter guide. Caddy and her mom made flyers and handed them out. Don't forget to vote. Katie told one busy dad. Sorry, it's Katie, not Caddy. <laughs> um, I didn't even know there was an election, he said. Now you do, said Katie. Can I go with you when you vote? Jasmine asked her big sister. It's a pain to vote, her sister said. I'm not even registered, added her friend. It's not hard to register, said Jasmine. You can do it together and I can show you how. You can go online to register to vote. Nadia and her auntie went door to door. Voting is a right, said Nadia. A right that women didn't have a hundred years ago. One lady told them, I don't like standing in lines. I don't like lines either, answered Nadia's auntie, but if we stand in line for coffee or for a movie, we're at the bank. I bet we can stand in line to vote, said Nadia. Hmm, said the lady, maybe we can. <laughs> at Jaden's house, the whole family was making their voting plans. Jaden's dad was voting before work. Jaden's mom was voting after work. I've walked to that polling station every election since I could vote, Jaden's great-grand told him, but I can't walk so far anymore. I, a volunteer, can drive you, said Jaden. Let's get you set up, said Jaden's mom. So you can vote before work. You can vote after work. You can arrange to get a ride if you need one. Mia and Noah and Jamal had a bake sale. Don't forget to vote, Mia said, as she handed out change. Oops, this page over here, the pink one. I'll be away on election day, said one woman. In our state, you can vote early, said Mia. You have to check your state, not all states can vote early. Or you can vote by mail, said Jamal. The voter guide tells you how. Definitely check out the voter guide for your state. <laughs> Voting, what's the big deal, said a teen asked a teenager. People fought wars so we can vote, said Mia. That's a big deal. Why should I vote, said a lady. A sad lady. Nothing ever changes. Besides, one vote won't make a difference. Oh, look at all of these excuses people have. 
Are you kidding, said Jamal. Changes are made every day because people voted. Every vote counts. Every vote counts. Ooh, the next page opens different. Um, by the time it was the first Tuesday after the first Monday of November, every kid at Stanton Elementary had spread the word to their families, to their neighbors, to friends, to strangers, to friends of strangers, to the whole town, had a plan for voting. And on election day, are you ready? I don't even know how I'll be able to show this. It opens up even bigger. <laughs> it opens up super big. Uh, voters came early in the morning before the sun was up. They waited in line with coffee. They rolled in on wheelchairs. They voted for the first time and for the 50th time. They ran in at the last minute. They came with their moms and sons and daughters, their nieces and nephews, their brothers and sisters, their cousins and friends. Let's see if we can get that up there so we can see. All the people coming to vote with all their things. <laughs> and all of their people. Those kids sure got the word out. On the first Wednesday, after the first Monday in November, all votes had been counted. The results were so close, the votes had to be counted again. Some people won and some people lost. The laws of the country began to change. Every election day, some people win and some people lose. Stanton Elementary School went back to being a school. And the future can begin. Now, when adults vote, they vote for people and causes they believe in. They vote so that those who speak for us, like our local and state representatives, our Congress people, our president will follow policies and make laws that are good for everyone in the country. Acts of Congress are laws that have to be followed by everyone in the United States of America. Here are some acts of Congress that make the future better. The Postal Service Act was signed into law by our nation's first president, George Washington, in 1792. It established the United States Post Office Department. Nowadays, the U.S. Postal Service delivers over 140 billion pieces of mail. Before the Civil Rights Act was passed in 1866, people who had been enslaved and had, had no rights at all. This was the first act of Congress to make it a law that every citizen be treated equally. Americans still struggle to preserve every person's civil rights today. The Yellowstone National Park Protection Act became a law in 1872. Now there are national parks in every U.S. state and territory, consisting of over 80 million acres preserved for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. The Indian Citizenship Act became law in 1924. Although the law granted citizenship to all indigenous people, many native people did not have the ability to vote until 1962. The Air Pollution Control Act of 1955 was the first law to declare that air pollution was a national problem. Uh, the Civil Rights Act of 1964 was signed as a result of the Civil Rights Movement. This law made it a crime to injure, intimidate, or interfere with any person because of their race, color, religion, sex, handicap, familial status, or national, or national origin. It continues to be amended to protect the rights of all. The Americans with Disabilities Act, passed in 1990, states that people who are differently abled must be accommodated in schools, in the workplace, and in public spaces. And the Patient Protection and Affordable Care Act was passed in 2010. It ensures that all people of the United States have access to health care at an affordable cost. So the little girl at the end of our book wants to know, when will you cast your first vote? What kind of future will you vote for? And those were examples of things that people who were voted into office put into place to help people. I like all of the little buttons. If you go to vote, you get a sticker that says you voted. I actually have one from the last election. It says, I voted. They don't always look the same. All right, have a great day.